We're getting closer and closer to countdown. Preliminary show, Miss Teen USA 2020. Once again, mask on at all times during our show. Safety, safety, safety. Mask on at all times. We're about four minutes out. Four minutes out. Our goal is to start on time. We'll see you in just a bit. The contestants are excited to see you too. I can't even convince myself. I'm speaking, it's the voice of someone else Oh, it tears me up I try to hold on, but it hurts too much I try to forgive, but it's not enough To make it okay You can pay all broken strings You can feel anything That your heart
the Miss Universe organization presents Miss Teen USA 2020. The sound stage at Graceland in Memphis, Tennessee. It's Miss Teen USA 2020. are the 2020 Miss Teen USA contestants. Katie Watts, Alabama. Jaden Frazier, Alaska. Molly Schwanz, Arizona. Anna Claire Hay, Arkansas. Zoe Hunt, California. Yashi Upalapati, Colorado. Samantha Sorelli, Connecticut. Samantha Repass, Delaware. Sydney Jackson, District of Columbia. Riley Spicker, Florida. Shayla Jackson, Georgia. Ilani Aruda, Hawaii. Sabrina Ripley, Idaho. Victoria Remrem, Illinois. Ginny Toms, Indiana. Haley Parton, Iowa. Sierra Heredia, Kansas. Maddie Barker, Kentucky. Sydney Taylor, Louisiana. Grace Morey, Maine. Kevin McDaniels, Maryland. Anika Sharma, Massachusetts. Anisa Shake, Michigan. Gwendolyn Buchanan, Minnesota. Zoe Bigo, Mississippi. Holly McDowell, Missouri. Morgan Pierce, Montana. Audrey Eckert, Nebraska. Montana Senseric, Nevada.
Samantha LeMay, New Hampshire. Jalen Polanco, New Jersey. Isabella Bazell, New Mexico. Maya Dominguez, New York. Peyton Brown, North Carolina. Amanda Higginbotham, North Dakota. Lily McLaughlin, Ohio. Danica Christofferson, Oklahoma. Shayla Montgomery, Oregon. Kiara Lynn, Pennsylvania. Sophia Ledoux, Rhode Island. Grayson Granger, South Carolina. Isabel Krieger, South Dakota. Ansley Ecker, Tennessee. Anissa Mendez, Texas. Brooklyn Baton, Utah. Kira Pipeline, Vermont. Amaya Caldwell, Virginia. Marianne Bautista, Washington. Sophia Martino, West Virginia. Olivia Lulich, Wisconsin. Bailey Drury, Wyoming. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Miss USA 2019, Chesley Christ. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting to see people here finally. We've run through this show so many times with empty seats. Thank you guys. My gosh, thank you for being here. And welcome to the Miss Teen USA preliminary competition brought to you by Sherry Hill. Yes. Give it up for those ladies. We are live from Memphis, and I can't think of a better city to host this year's show. They really are doing everything right to ensure a safe show for everyone. I mean, they're all about masks. Hello, I'm holding one right now. Testing and social distancing here, and we really appreciate all they're doing. So thank you to Memphis. Yeah, give it up, give it up. And you guys at home, we don't have a whole lot of people here, but you know what they, what they lack in number, they make up in spirit. So thank you guys for being a great audience already. We have an action-packed show planned for you guys tonight, but before we dive in, I do want to introduce you guys to my gorgeous co-host. She's someone we all adore, the model-esque, the statuesque, the effervescent Miss Teen USA 2019, Kaylee Garris. <laughs> Look at you in that gown, Kaylee. You look amazing in this Thank cape you. action. Give us a little bit of cape. Oh, of course. Yes, no. yes. A little yeah, bit of spice you for you guys. Right a little there. bit of spice. <laughs> the preliminary competition is a crucial step, you know this, in determining who will be the next Miss Teen USA. So why don't you explain to everyone how this evening's show is going to work? Yes, of course. All 51 teens will compete in their She Fit activewear and Sherry Hill evening gowns, each counting for a third of their overall score. 
Exactly, and the remaining third comes from personal interviews they did via Zoom before arriving here in Graceland. Our selection committee will take those three rounds into consideration and determine which contestants will move on to compete in tomorrow night's final competition. Let's meet our talented panel now. Yes. In 2011, she became the second representative from Texas to be crowned Miss Teen USA, Danielle Doty Fitzgerald. This Moroccan-American is a self-made entrepreneur, published scientist, and former beauty queen, Iman Ubu. This digital marketing consultant and writer for South Carolina was crowned Miss Teen USA 2014, Kaylee Graham. This singer, songwriter, and music composer was crowned Miss America in 2019, my friend, Nia Franklin. This actress is popular on TikTok uh, with nearly 3 million followers that are going to be upset with me from my pronunciation of her name, Sarah Echacharai. <laughs> All right, now that we've met the selection committee, there's just one thing left to do. Memphis, are you ready to bring the contestants back out here in their she-fit activewear? Then let's begin this Miss Teen USA preliminary activewear competition with Alabama. 15-year-old Katie is a cross-country runner who enjoys riding four-wheelers. Her mission is to motivate teens to get active and invest free time in their community through service. Alabama. Alaska. Despite being diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, Jaden was an honor roll student in high school and a community volunteer. This 19-year-old hopes to become an airplane mechanic in the future. Alaska. Arizona. Molly is a college sophomore majoring in business law. For the past 10 years, this 19-year-old has been donating Kindles to cancer patients at her local children's hospital, Arizona. Arkansas. Anna Claire started college while still in high school and plans to pursue a career in the medical field. This 17-year-old chemistry major is proud to be one of the few females on her school's trap shooting team, Arkansas. California. Zoe is a self-proclaimed history geek who maintained a 4.0 grade point average in high school. This 18-year-old National Honor Society officer plans to work in the public relations field after college. California. Colorado. Yashi is an 18-year-old college freshman and part of the Diverse Scholars Program. She plans on double majoring in accounting and finance while getting a double minor in Hindi and technology arts and media. It's a busy lady, Colorado. Connecticut. 18 year old Samantha is a freshman at Trinity College who will double major in economics and political science. Upon graduation, she plans to attend Yale University Law School and become a civil rights attorney. Connecticut. Delaware. 19-year-old Samantha's state pageant was the first that she had ever competed in. She's been dancing for over 16 years and is a proud recipient of the Presidential Gold Service Award for her volunteer work. Delaware. District of Columbia. After her undergraduate studies, 19-year-old Sydney plans to become a broadcast journalist and host her own talk show. This former photo shoot stylist recently designed a fashion website. District of Columbia. Florida. 
Riley is a college freshman pursuing a double major in finance and telecommunications. Upon graduation, this 19-year-old's dream is to become an award-winning TV and film producer. Florida. All right, let's hear it for our first 10 contestants. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, District of Columbia, and Florida. Let's continue our active wear competition with Georgia. Despite being diagnosed with severe hearing loss, Shayla doesn't let the impairment dictate what she is capable of achieving. This 18-year-old honor student was captain of her high school volleyball team, Georgia. Hawaii! For her National Honor Society service project, Ki'ilani hosted a beach cleanup. This 18-year-old's future plans include majoring in molecular and cellular biology, then attending medical school at Stanford. Hawaii. Idaho. Sabrina was recently awarded a top academic college scholarship. This 19-year-old plans to study nursing and Spanish with dreams of becoming a pediatric registered nurse one day. Idaho. Illinois. 17-year-old Victoria plans to pursue degrees in broadcast journalism and women's rights law. This future attorney currently works as a part-time construction worker. Illinois. Indiana. Jenny is on the diversity and inclusion committee at her sorority. This 19-year-old has been volunteering with the American Diabetes Association for the past eight years in order to support her social cause. Live happy, live healthy. Indiana. Iowa. 18-year-old Haley has been volunteering with the Children's Cancer Connection and the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society for two years. This future pediatric oncologist once hosted a very special house guest, Oprah Winfrey, Iowa. Kansas. 19-year-old Sierra learned to fly a plane before she could drive. She plans to get her law degree and eventually be appointed to the Supreme Court following in the footsteps of her hero, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Kansas. Kentucky. Maddie loves to sing and lead worship at her church. This 17-year-old actress and model taught herself how to play both the piano and the guitar. A talented Kentucky. Louisiana. Sydney is pursuing her bachelor's degree in mass communication and has plans to attend law school upon graduation. After her team won a softball state championship, this 19-year-old athlete was named the MVP. Louisiana. Next year, 17-year-old Grace will begin working towards her degree as an environmental lawyer. She recently created the platform Sustainability Starts With Me to advocate for environmental awareness. Maine. Let's bring our second group of 10 contestants back to the stage. Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois,
Starting off our next group, we have Maryland. 16-year-old Heaven is a proud to be a tri-racial first-generation American. This National Honor Society student and former All-American cheerleader was once invited to the Congress of Future Medical Leaders, Maryland. Massachusetts. Anika is studying finance and marketing at Boston College and plans to become CEO of her own fashion company. We love an entrepreneur. This 19-year-old enjoys empowering teens through organizations like Girl Talk and Project Heal. Massachusetts. Michigan. Anissa moved to the Great Lakes State five years ago to pursue an ice skating career. This 18-year-old skating team captain is also passionate about music and enjoys songwriting, singing, and playing guitar. Michigan. Minnesota. Gwendolyn is a member of an underwater hockey team called the Walleyes. This 18-year-old aspiring orthodontist is a self-described bookworm who is currently studying Mandarin. Minnesota. Mississippi. 17-year-old Zoe is known in her community for her charitable organization, Zoe's Closet. Her signature polka-dotted donation boxes are filled with clothing, books, and hygiene products for the underprivileged. Mississippi. Missouri. Holly wants to use her platform to raise awareness about human trafficking. Just 16, she owns and operates a lawn care business that helps her support her favorite nonprofit, Restoration House. Missouri. Montana. 16-year-old Morgan is a varsity cheerleader and president of her class. She's passionate about mentoring girls of all ages and plans to work as an early childhood counselor one day. Montana. Nebraska. 18-year-old Audrey is driven by her desire to mentor young girls and help them become strong, confident community leaders. This college freshman won her state pageant while nursing a broken foot. That's resilience, Nebraska. Nevada. Montana is an 18-year-old model who believes anyone can make a difference in the lives of others. She fights back against gender-based discrimination through a social media awareness campaign. Nevada. New Hampshire. 17-year-old Samantha plans to enroll in an ROTC college program next year. This aspiring U.S. military officer gives back by working with the American Heart Association and the Boys and Girls Club. New Hampshire. Let's welcome back our third group of 10 contestants back to the stage. Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, and New Hampshire. Let's keep it rolling with our next group of girls. Please welcome New Jersey. Jalen is a 16-year-old high school student enrolled in all honors courses. She is also the founder of the nonprofit organization Together We Stand, assisting children and adolescents with autism. New Jersey. New Mexico. 
Since her diagnosis, Isabella is passionate about raising awareness of endometriosis in teens. To help raise money to research the disorder, this 17-year-old produced a fashion show entitled This Is Me, New Mexico. New York. Maya plans to become an international fashion merchandiser. This bilingual 18-year-old has traveled to over 30 countries and met the prime ministers of both Mongolia and Albania. New York. North Carolina! Peyton is majoring in biology and plans to become an orthodontist with her own practice. This 19-year-old Cher fan is a trained singer who has performed the national anthem before hundreds of events. North Carolina. North Dakota. Amanda holds an FAA private pilot license, earning her wings at just 17. Now 19, this college student is majoring in both commercial aviation and international studies with an emphasis in Chinese. North Dakota. Ohio. Lily started her own nonprofit at just 13 years old. Now 18, she owns and operates a real estate investment company with her siblings, renovating and flipping houses in three states. Ohio! Oklahoma! 19-year-old Danica is a business student who aspires to be the chief executive of her own clothing line. She hopes to create environmentally friendly, one-of-a-kind pieces to decrease mass production. Oklahoma. Oregon. Oregon's got some letters in here, I see that. Shayla created Teen Speak Life, a national movement that promotes self-love and positive teen interaction. She has been participating in pageants since she was 12 and was captain of her dance team in high school. Oregon. Pennsylvania. 18-year-old Kiara Career ambition is to become a cosmetic dentist and to have a practice of her own. She took only AP and honors classes in high school and was accepted into every college she applied to. Pennsylvania. Rhode Island. Sophia leads a church retreat program and teaches religious education to first graders. This 17-year-old played fast pitch travel softball for 10 years and plans to pursue a college degree in communications. Rhode Island. All right, let's bring our fourth group of 10 contestants back to the stage. New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, and Rhode Island. Let's bring out the final group. Please help me welcome South Carolina. 19-year-old Grayson is interested in politics and hopes to use her voice to encourage peers to become active and informed voters. Her thrill-seeking bucket list includes skydiving and bungee jumping. South Carolina. South Dakota. Isabel created a program that teaches and encourages children to safely prevent bullying. This 17-year-old cheer captain is the front middle hitter, middle hitter on her high school's varsity volleyball team. South Dakota. Tennessee. And 
Ainsley plans to pursue a degree in physical therapy at the University of Memphis. This 18-year-old decided to study physical therapy after she injured her back while cheerleading, and it required PT to recover. Tennessee. Texas. Two years ago, 18-year-old Anissa founded a nonprofit to empower teenage girls. Along with school, volunteer work, and fitness training, she's been an award-winning cheerleader for 15 years and plays the ukulele. Texas. Utah. Brooklyn grew up working on her family's farm and is an avid horseback rider, hunter, and outdoors woman. This 19-year-old sports fan currently works at a family medical clinic. Utah. Vermont. Kira plans to study education and coaching in college. In addition to being valedictorian, this 18-year-old is a highly decorated athlete who was named her high school's Athlete of the Year in 2019. Vermont. Virginia. 16-year-old honor roll student Amaya is an active member on her school's advisory board. Her goal is to earn a degree in psychology from the University of Alabama and become a child psychologist one day. Virginia. Washington. Marianne is an advocate for people with neurological disorders and that inspired her to start a neuroscience club. This 17-year-old is fluent in French and spends her free time blogging. Washington. West Virginia. 18-year-old Sophia was a real overachiever in high school. She was on the tennis team, key club president, a member of the National Honor Society, and captain of the cheer section. West Virginia. Wisconsin. Olivia has been a competitive dancer for the last seven years, focusing on jazz, hip hop, contemporary, lyrical, and ballet. This 18-year-old Reese Witherspoon fan once modeled for American Girl Doll. Wisconsin. Wyoming. 17-year-old Bailey is an employee at an all-female run ranch where she is the head irrigating specialist. She is actively involved in Future Farmers of America and proudly spent her summer interning at Capitol Hill, Wyoming. Let's bring our final group of contestants back to the stage. South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, and Wyoming. All right, give them a round of applause, guys, all these women, incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of our active wear competition. How about another round of applause for all 51 of our incredible delegates? As you can tell from the bios that Chesley and I were reading, this is a very special group. Yes, absolutely. I mean, starting nonprofits, starting businesses, wanting to go to law school, although I would not do the last one again. It's one of those things you don't do twice. <laughs> They truly are the future. So the Miss Universe organization recently tasked them with writing a letter to themselves in 10 years, envisioning what life will be like for them in the year 2030. Let's check it out. Dear future self, this is what I envision life will look like for you in 10 years. Even through a global pandemic, you have led with nothing but compassion, 
love, and acceptance for all. You will continue to be the hard worker that I know you are. By now, you should have graduated medical school and be working as a pediatrician. I see you accomplishing a new or even better concept for healing aid. You are an accomplished attorney, a civil rights attorney at that. I know you chose that field. I hope to be a business owner. I hope to have my own clothing line. And I just always want to be in a spot where I'm not done growing and there's always room for improvement and expanding. I see myself starting my career as a clinical psychologist and working with adolescents, being able to go and support my family in whatever they do, becoming an orthodontist, helping give people healthy, confident smiles, becoming a human rights lawyer and working for the United Nations, and becoming the mom to many, many dogs. By the year 2030, I hope you can say that you lived, you worked, and that it has all paid off. I hope that in the future, we lead our lives with determination and perseverance. I hope you are still very kind. The world can be a cruel place. I hope I can see the positive impact I have made on my community. I hope you continue to strive for and reach new goals. But most importantly, I hope you're a woman who shatters glass ceilings. I hope to see people speaking up about the things that they believe in even more so than they do now and doing the right things simply just because it's the right thing to do. I've seen so many amazing young women, young men accomplishing so much right now, and I can't wait to see what 2030 brings for all of us. We have come so far. You have come so far as a person. I'm so proud of you, even though I have no idea what your life looks like at the moment. Remember to always work hard, to stay strong. You have been through obstacles in the past, but you can get through anything. You are capable always. Well, your 17-year-old self. How beautiful is that? Incredible aspirations. And hopefully by 2030, we have the results of the 2020 election, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> Kaylee, we are now halfway through the show, but before we bring out the contestants in their evening gowns, let's talk a little bit about tomorrow's teen finals competition. Yeah, well, it's a little bit sad for me personally because I'm giving up my crown, but it's going to be a ton of fun. As a bonus, I get to watch you um, in the show hosting alongside Ali LaFleur, so I'm looking forward to that. Yes, I'm just looking forward to the gowns, you know, switching gowns during the shows. And I also can't wait to see which teen is gonna take home the Mawad crown. The show will be live from this very stage starting at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. So be sure to tell your friends to watch the webcast on MissTeenUSA.com. And this year, you all can vote your favorite contestant into the semifinals. Voting closes at midnight, so be sure to download the Miss USA app right away for more details. And as you probably already know, the teens aren't the only game in town. The Miss USA contestants will also be competing here at Graceland. Yes, competing right here in Memphis. Be sure to check out the Miss USA preliminary competition tonight at 9 p.m. Central, live from this very stage. It'll also be co-hosted by yours truly. You are one busy lady, Chesley, <laughs> with all that on your schedule. And of course, the Miss USA Finals will also be here live Monday, November 9th, only on the FYI Network. For more details on the telecast, head on over to Miss USA. Com. Yes, clearly there is a lot of great pageantry on the horizon, but we still have some business to take care of right now. The evening gown competition. Are you guys excited? Oh my gosh, I am. Ooh, me too. Tonight, all of the teens are wearing Sherry Hill, and as was the case with activewear, they will be competing in groups of 10. So let's begin the glamorous part of tonight's competition with Alabama. Katie has taken dance lessons all her life and won the first national competition she ever entered. This 15-year-old high school student is the youngest contestant to ever win her state's team title. Alabama. Alaska. Jaden was a Girl Scout for 12 years and played softball for 10. Now 19, this motivational speaker works for an airline and volunteers with numerous organizations in her state, Alaska. Arizona. 
Molly's goal is to start her own real estate company that allows clients to buy, sell, remodel, and decorate their homes. In her spare time, this 19-year-old rides and shows her four Arabian horses. Arizona. Arkansas. Anna Claire started her non own nonprofit to promote elder care when she was just nine years old. Now 17, she was recently named her state's top teen youth volunteer and is a three time presidential gold medal service award winner. Say that three times fast. Arkansas. California. Zoe started a campaign called Get Outside and Get Active to keep kids moving. This 18-year-old competitive kayaker was recently selected for the Olympic Development Team. California. Colorado. Yeah, she started modeling at 15 and has walked at Denver Fashion Week for two years. This 18-year-old future accountant speaks four languages and once attended a music school in India. Colorado. Connecticut. Samantha is a first-generation Albanian-American who speaks three languages. This 18-year-old once produced a video series about human trafficking to shed light on the growing problem. Connecticut. Delaware. As a high school senior, Samantha's rigorous course load included several AP and honors courses. This 6'1", 19-year-old views pageants as an opportunity to be a role model and to spread positivity. Delaware. District of Columbia. Sydney was the co-president of her high school student body. This 19-year-old blogger is a trained dancer who enjoys baking in her free time. District of Columbia. Florida. Riley was a varsity athlete in track, lacrosse, and cheer. This 19-year-old enjoys volunteering for the Animal Refuge Center, where she started the Junior Ambassador Program to get children interested in giving back. Florida. All right, let's bring our first 10 contestants back to the stage. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, District of Columbia. All right, let's keep it going for the next group of teens, starting with Georgia. 18-year-old Shayla has spoken to over 7,000 students across her state about kindness through her hashtag Spread the Love campaign. This master lip reader and future audiologist once hula hooped for seven straight hours. Georgia. Hawaii. And high school 18-year-old Keelani was executive student body president while maintaining a 4.0 GPA. This 
future dermatologist is passionate about painting and once attended space camp at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, Hawaii. Sabrina is a 19-year-old certified open water scuba diver and state chess champion. She wants to use her crown to advocate for the American Cancer Society at the national level. Idaho. Illinois. Victoria is a three-sport student athlete who's gained recognition as a community leader. This 17-year-old is a volleyball junior Olympian, state silver medalist in track and field, and softball. Illinois. Indiana. 19-year-old Ginny is studying social work and psychology and plans to become a clinical psychologist. She enjoys holding tiara parties, so sweet, inviting young girls to join her and talk about what they think a queen values. Indiana. Iowa. Haley has been a dancer her entire life and has trained and performed all over the world. This 18-year-old took all of her high school credits online and is currently pursuing an undergraduate degree in nursing. Iowa. Kansas. Sierra created an organization to help both international and local students at her university improve their mental health. This 19-year-old emotional and mental health advocate started taking college classes when she was only seven years old. Kansas. Kentucky. Maddie plans to study fashion design and music in college. This 17-year-old has been described as an old soul, which might explain her passion for collecting vintage clothing and old records. Kentucky. Louisiana. 19-year-old Sydney is passionate about helping military veterans. In addition to visiting VA homes, she hosted a father-daughter dance to raise money for those who served our country. Louisiana. Maine. As an NCA All-American cheerleader, Grace earned the opportunity to perform in the Disney Christmas Parade. This 17-year-old class president currently works as the only female dock worker in her town, Maine. All right, let's welcome back to the stage our second group of 10 contestants. Georgia. Hawaii. Let's continue our show with Marilyn. Heaven is a 16-year-old who became passionate about pediatrics after watching her cousin being treated for spina bifida. This bilingual high school student plans to attend Vanderbilt to study medicine. Marilyn. Marilyn. 
Massachusetts. 19-year-old Annika enjoys writing and has published both a cookbook and ebook. She was once a student researcher at NYU and can recite all of the presidents and states in order. Massachusetts. Michigan. 18-year-old Anissa has seven sisters and is the youngest of 11 children. She has received multiple college scholarship offers and plans to pursue a double major in economics and business. Michigan. Minnesota. Gwendolyn founded the Gwinnie B Book Drive, turning her passion for reading into a charitable cause. In 2014, this 18-year-old donated hundreds of books to children following a hurricane in the Bahamas. Minnesota. Mississippi. Zoe is obsessed with fashion and proudly walked during New York Fashion Week. This 17-year-old plans to obtain a Bachelor of Science in Interior Design when she gets to college. Mississippi. Missouri. Holly enjoys traveling and once walked eight miles in the dark to witness lava pour over a cliff into the ocean. This 16-year-old adventurer's other memorable experiences include swimming with manta rays in Hawaii. Missouri. Montana. Morgan runs a mentoring program for girls in her community. This 16-year-old has been a competitive dancer since she was five and would eventually like to open up her own dance studio. Montana. Nebraska. 18-year-old Audrey started her own mentoring program when she was just 12. In high school, she was captain of the cheerleading team, a student ambassador, and she hosted several philanthropic events for elementary school students. Nebraska. Nevada. 18-year-old Montana plans to pursue a degree in criminology at UNLV. She believes in environmental activism and enjoys creating art through painting, photography, and modeling. Nevada. New Hampshire. For the last three years, Samantha has been active in the Civil Air Patrol, a junior military program that offers flight training. This well-rounded 17-year-old is a member of her high school's cross-country and track teams. New Hampshire. All right, let's welcome our third group of 10 contestants back to the stage. Maryland. Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, and New Hampshire. All right, let's keep the competition rolling with New Jersey. 
16-year-old Jaylen has walked in New York Fashion Week since 2016. She's a member of her school's RISE program, supporting anti-bullying campaigns by spreading kindness and acceptance. New Jersey. New Mexico. As a competitive cheerleader, 17-year-old Isabella broke seven bones in three years. Ouch. This avid blogger volunteers at the Maine Society Kids Camp and eventually plans to go to medical school. New Mexico. New York. Maya is a black belt in Taekwondo who used to perform in off-Broadway musicals. This 18-year-old enjoyed her recent volunteer work with God's Love, We Deliver, cooking meals for those who were ill, doing good in our communities, New York. North Carolina. 19-year-old Peyton was her high school senior captain for both the varsity soccer and cheerleading teams. She's a member of the Zeta Tau Alpha sorority and an advocate for domestic violence awareness. North Carolina. North Dakota. After 1,400 hours of volunteer service, Amanda incorporated her own nonprofit. At 19, she's worn both combat boots as a captain in the Civil Air Patrol and high heels as a New York Fashion Week model. We love the versatility, North Dakota. Ohio. Lily is an all-honor student who plans to study computer science and business in college. This talented 18-year-old lettered and started in three varsity sports as a high school freshman, soccer, basketball, and volleyball. Ohio. Oklahoma. 19-year-old Danica graduated high school with a 4.0 GPA. To help her fellow teens at the polls, she created hashtag Voices of Voters, a simple, politics-free conversation about voter registration. Oklahoma. Oregon. Shayla plans to become a nurse practitioner in dermatology after college. This 18-year-old would eventually like to create a skincare line for those who struggle with eczema. Oregon. Pennsylvania. 18-year-old Kiera was co-captain of her high school's varsity cheerleading team. She enjoys giving back and once did 500 hours of community service in a span of only three months. Pennsylvania. Rhode Island. Sophia established a clothing drive called Warm Hearts, collecting over a thousand items last winter for children in need. This 17-year-old enjoys tubing, camping, and fishing in her spare time. Rhode Island. Let's welcome back to the stage our fourth group of 10 contestants, New Jersey. New Mexico. New York. North Carolina. North Dakota. Ohio. Oklahoma. Oregon. Pennsylvania and 
Rhode Island. All right, it's time for our final group of teens. It's passed by so quickly, starting with South Carolina. Grayson is a member of the Screen Actors Guild and has been a model and actress since she was eight. This 19-year-old's goal, however, is to complete medical school and become an oncologist. South Carolina. South Dakota. Isabel grew up in a small town and has been operating farm equipment since she was seven. Now 17, this National Honor Society student plans to become a neonatal nurse. South Dakota. Tennessee. Ansley created the organization CARE, an acronym that stands for Cancer Affects and Reaches Everyone. This 18-year-old museum fan has already visited five presidential libraries. Let's give it up for the hometown girl, Tennessee! Texas! Anissa was in the top 10% of her high school class with a 4.0 GPA. This hard-working 18-year-old has been shadowing general practitioners and dermatologists because she plans to pursue a medical degree. Texas. Utah. Brooklyn is a self-proclaimed tomboy who grew up riding four-wheelers and dirt bikes. This 19-year-old hopes to one day own her own ranch and veterinary clinic where she can raise and take care of animals. Utah. Vermont. Kira developed a program called Head Start to Happiness, creating care packages for students in need. This 18-year-old was adopted at birth, so she's an advocate for foster care and adoption awareness. Vermont. Virginia. Amaya created a platform called Dare to Be You, inspiring teens to embrace who they are. This kind-hearted 16-year-old once worked at a summer camp for underserved children, and today she's competing in her 24th pageant. A seasoned veteran, Virginia. Washington. 17-year-old Marianne has performed at Carnegie Hall twice, singing French classic pieces after winning vocal competition. She's coxswain for a men's varsity crew boat and hopes to become an Olympian one day. Washington. West Virginia. 18-year-old Sophia is passionate about addressing food insecurity and hunger in her home state. She volunteers at the Mountaineer Food Bank and hosts events to collect, pack, and distribute donated food items. West Virginia. Wisconsin. 18 year old Olivia is an advocate for agricultural industry. She currently owns cattle and sheep and plans to become an agricultural education instructor and Future Farms of America advisor. Wisconsin. Wyoming. Bailey is hoping to earn her degree in political science and one day pursue a career in politics. This 17 year old has a passion for welding and played outside linebacker for her high school's tackle football team. You go girl, Wyoming.
please welcome our final group of contestants back to the stage. South Carolina. South Dakota. Tennessee. Texas. Utah. Vermont. Virginia. Washington. West Virginia. Wisconsin. And Wyoming. That brings us to the end of our evening gown competition. Can you guys believe it? How beautiful were those gowns? Incredible. And all the contestants looked incredibly poised and confident. Our selection committee definitely has their work cut out for them. Uh, picking the semifinalists won't be easy, uh, but find out who they choose tomorrow night. Miss Teen USA streams live right here at Graceland in Memphis on the Miss USA Facebook page at 9 p.m. Eastern and 8 p.m. Central. Woohoo! And we'd like to extend a really special thank you to the staff here at Graceland. Also, a big shout out to Kevin, Milton, and the entire Memphis Tourism Board. I'd also like to say thanks to our wonderful parents, the selection committee, state directors, Kent, and the entire Miss Teen USA production team, especially the president of the Miss Universe organization, Paula Shugart, the boss lady herself. <laughs> and finally, let's hear it for Kaylee Garris for being such an incredible co-host and title holder. She was amazing. <laughs> Don't forget to vote for a semi-finalist on the Miss USA app and join us tomorrow at 8 p.m. local time for the Miss Teen USA finals show live from right here at Graceland. Thank, Thank you and, and good, good night. night.